everyone, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts. I am back with another Timu video. And what I have at this time, I did reorder some stuff. And one thing that I reordered were these little um, balls that you can put on top of hats. Um, this was a really good value. I paid $1.67 for the two pack. Now I didn't get the cream color before, so I went ahead and got a cream color. But I just wanted to show you this real quick. This is what it looks like on the hat. So I crocheted this hat and it has the little snap thing and then you can take it off so you can wash the hat. And then it snaps right back on here. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. And then once your hat is washed, um, you can put it back on there and then the poof, it doesn't get wrecked in the wash. So these are definitely a good value, I would say, um, at $1.67. Okay, next up I have this one piece artificial bouquet that I got. Now I haven't taken this out of the package yet, so I'm not sure what it looks like. So let's see what we have here. Okay, it's not bad. So I paid $1.38 for this. It looks kind of plasticky, but I think maybe once I kind of branch it out a little bit, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I could definitely use that in one of my crafts. So $1.38 for this artificial bouquet. Next is um, my wine bottle tops that I bought. Um, I think I had, yeah, I had one of these out of the package that I tried already. And they're actually pretty bright. I think those will look really cute in a bottle. Um, let me go grab a bottle see how well this fits in there. Okay, so I have a wine bottle. And it looks like this should fit in a regular top bottle pretty good. And then when you want, you just turn the lights on. I think I'm going to be making Christmas gifts with these this, this year. Um, I did have, this is a bottle, <laughs> we drink a lot of rum, <laughs> and we have some of these, but it looks like this isn't going to quite cut it here, but I'm guessing, I don't know, it might look kind of goofy just sticking in there, but I'm thinking maybe if I just get like some hot glue or something and put it around the rim, that I could stick it in there, but... I definitely think these are pretty good and it was $7.99 and I got 12 of them in there. So I think I'm going to be using these for Christmas gifts this year. Next up is this artificial garland that I bought. This isn't exactly what I was expecting when I ordered it. I was expecting it to be a lot, the leaves to be kind of a lot bigger and thicker. So I paid $3.17 for this. And I don't know, it's not that bad. I could definitely see myself maybe putting it on my fireplace mantle or something or chopping it up to use in projects, one or the other. But I could also use it to put in it as a background in my videos. But definitely, I would say this is pretty decent. It doesn't look, it looks kind of real, not too plasticky. So I'm thinking it, this was probably a pretty good buy for $3.17. Maybe, I mean, Dollar Tree is probably, if you got something like this, it would be a lot shorter. So I would say it's kind of comparable to Dollar Tree, but I'm definitely going to be using this in some projects. Okay. Next up are these cute little washi stickers that I got. Um, I got six sheets of these for 99 cents. Now, there's different varieties, but I got the succulents because I just started getting into actual succulents. So these are super cute and I can definitely see myself using these. Um, so I would say for 99 cents, I mean, that's a pretty good deal for those stickers. Okay, this is a repeat buy again, and this is this hanging, hanging succulent plant. I actually, you, you, <laughs> I actually used this in two of my DIYs um, just recently. And I thought, you know, I really, really like this stuff. I'm gonna have to get some more. Now, I did pay $3.38 for this, and I'm pretty sure last time I ordered it, it was cheaper than that. So just know that um, they change prices on there. They don't always stay the same. So if there's something that you're really interested in, just wait till the price changes. But $3.38, 
maybe I would have paid, should have paid like $1.99, $1.50, something like that for them. But I really like these, so I had to go ahead and get another one. Okay, now this, I got 30 of these paint brushes for $2.17. I have not used them yet, but I'm always looking for smaller paintbrushes for smaller little like ledges on stuff that I'm doing. So we'll see how these work. Um, the sticks are kind of thin here. I believe, yeah, they're plastic. Um, I might have to cut some of these down because I think they're a little bit long. But for 30 of them, for two seventeen was a pretty good deal. So hopefully I'll be using these in some of my DIYs coming up. Up next is this little candle that I got. It says Vintage LED Halloween Candle, candle Lantern. Um, yeah, it's a little chintzier than I thought it was going to be. But um, maybe that can be, I mean, that could probably be taken care of. I can probably do something with this plastic and spray paint it or something. But let's see what it looks like. Well, it's just got a little light in there. Maybe I can turn some lights off and let's see. I don't know. It's kind of cute. It's pretty tinsy, actually. But $4.48, I probably would not have paid that for this. But who knows? Maybe I can class it up or spook it up a little bit and maybe it won't look so bad. But yeah, definitely I would say probably nay on this one. $4.48 for this little plastic thing? Probably not. Okay. Next up, this is um, a three-speed rotating display stand turntable. Now this I paid, says $11.17, but I have a hard time believing I actually paid that much for this. I'll have to go back and take a look and see how much that actually was, because now I'm starting to wonder if these prices are right. But then again, who knows what I was thinking at the time. So anyways, it comes with this little thing um, and then it has this like mirror that you can put on there. It has a little protective film on there. And then it has, let me grab something here. Uh, let's see, let's try that. Okay, so I have, let me, <laughs> I don't wanna have to move my camera. All right, so you can press so that it goes one way and then you can I believe turn it the other way yep okay so you have a right left and then it'll change which way it's going and then I'm not sure what this button is oh this one makes it go slower and then it looks like yeah it must have three speeds slow and then it speeds up a little bit, and then that's the fast speed. And then, I'm not sure what this button is for at the end, but I know if I hold it in, it'll turn off. But I bought this so that maybe I could put some of my crafts on for when, oh, it rotates. It goes one way and then turns around the other way. That's what that last button does. But it comes with a USB cord to charge it up, um, and also three AAA batteries, so... Um, or just, I shouldn't say to charge it to make it work, but I have three AAA batteries in there right now. So, um, I'm thinking I'm going to put my crafts on there and maybe like do some videos and like rotate it when I'm done. So, I don't know. We'll see how this thing works out. So stay tuned to my videos so you can see me using my turntable. Right. Next up is a diamond painting kit. Now, I've never done diamond painting. I know a lot of people do it and they really enjoy it. So what I did was I just bought one. I didn't want to buy like a big expensive one or anything to start off with, but I'm guessing I kind of by looking at this, not all you diamond painters out there are probably laughing at me, but that they just kind of stick to that. So I have all my beads here and no, I don't have any cases to put the beads in. So probably going to be a disaster when I start trying to do it but it comes with I'm not quite sure what that is um, and a little tray for the beads and then the little thing I guess to stick them on there I don't know like I guess I've never done this before um, I bought this my son is into guitars and music 
So I bought this um, so I could make it and then maybe frame it <clears throat> and give it to him for Christmas. And I paid $3.48 for this. Um, it says it is 11.8 by 11.8 inches. So maybe I will do a video on me trying to do this and we'll see how I do. Okay, next up, this is more of like a crafting, I guess, tool, I would say. Um, let me see if I can get this open. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I am a crocheter and sometimes I use some pretty thick yarn. And the darning needles that I have aren't really the best. Um, they're kind of small, so it's hard to get that thick yarn through there. This is the size that I normally use for my really thick yarn. And I was looking for some bigger ones. But I like the tip curved like this when I'm crocheting in. I don't like, because um, I do have some bigger ones, but they just have, they're just straight. So I got these from Timu, and they are definitely bigger, can definitely handle my thicker yarn. And I got these, there is, I believe, eight of them. Yes, eight of them. And I paid $3.69 for these. Um, they are metal, not maybe a super great metal, but they're not plastic, so that's good. So I would say that these are a great buy, and I can't wait to start using these. Um, then I bought, it says One Piece Retro Electronic Candle Flameless LED. Um, yeah, box is pretty smushed in there. Um, okay, it's a little plain. Again, it's very plasticky looking. Let's turn it on. Uh, I mean, it's got a little, little flicker to it. It's kind of cute. Probably look really cute on a tiered tray, maybe dress it up a little bit. I'd probably paint it to make it look not quite so plasticky, but this I paid $3.49 for, which actually is kind of a lot for this because you could probably get something like this at Dollar Tree. I actually have a lantern from Dollar Tree. This one, and I bought it when it was still a um, dollar or 99 cents. And this one's pretty cool. I plan on using it um, in... A Christmas thing well maybe it's not lighting up the best because it needs a new battery but I don't know this one is definitely a lot cuter than this one so I don't know I guess it all depends on you and what you think what you think would look better but I mean I definitely think this one's really cute so I'll probably just dress it up and then I don't have a tiered tray or anything but I'll probably just stick it out for decoration probably dress it up for Christmas I'm guessing all right now we have it says two-piece retro rustic farm pumpkin wall art poster so let's see what it looks like oh yeah two piece so there's two pieces in here well it's a little wrinkled but not bad Ooh, I like that I'm thinking some kind of frame of some sort and put these up next to each other. I don't know, this one's really cute. I'm really into these colors, the blue and the greens for um, for fall. But yeah, these are actually pretty good. Um, the canvas is pretty decent. It's not like super flimsy and I paid $3.09 for these. Um, it says 10 inches long by eight inches wide. So, yeah, definitely going to use these. These are super cute. I love these. Okay, then we have wheat stalks. Um, 20 piece natural dried wheat stalks. Let's see. I don't want to take this apart right now because I don't want to get them. I don't want to wreck them. But. I don't know. They're pretty cute. I definitely think I could use these in some fall decorations. They are a little bit lighter than what I was thinking. I thought they'd be a little darker, but you get 20 of these, and I paid $3.98 for them. So I'd say they're pretty decent quality. Looks like the stems on the bottom are a bit busted up, but I don't know. I think they're pretty cute. Probably could get something very similar at Dollar Tree for cheaper, but either way, I'll definitely use them. 
Next, I have 12 pieces um, eucalyptus leaves. Now, this is also a repeat buy. I really love these for projects. I paid $2.28 for these, and I still have some left from the last ones that I bought, but, I mean, you can use these on anything. These are, these are great, so that's why I bought them again. Really happy with these. A little bit of a smell to them, but eventually that smell goes away. Starting to get to the end here. Um, yeah, I bought way more than I thought I did. <laughs> Anyways, so I really wanted to try Needle Punch. Um, kits are pretty expensive on Amazon. So I kind of looked around and I shopped and I bought these two kits. Um, the rainbow one was $6.99 and this flower one was $8.09. So I'm going to give this a shot. It looks like it has should have everything in here that I need to make these. I'm going to be making these for my granddaughters for Christmas. So looks like it has all the yarn in here. Hopefully enough yarn for what I need. It's got the little canvas that goes in the hoop. And let's see what kind of directions. Well, this one actually has directions, so that's pretty cool. And, yeah, I've never used one of these, so I do not know. I know there's a lot of needle punchers out there, and they make their own designs and stuff, but I don't know. I have so many projects already to do. I don't know why I keep buying stuff that I don't have time for, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. It's got what looks like everything in here, so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a video. Maybe I'll try one on my own, and then I'll do a video, because... Obviously, you guys want to know if this stuff is any good or if it actually works and how well it works. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do a video on one of these and let you know how it goes. So, yeah, hopefully <laughs> there's enough yarn and stuff in here, but I'll let you know how well I do. Next is... And these I actually already bought before. I am not going to go ahead and light them up or anything, but I already used them in a craft, and it turned out super cute. Um, I bought some, those were cream-colored ones. These are white lights. So these I paid, where is it, $3.78 for. But they're a very good quality, and I really like the ones that I used before, so that's why I bought them again. So definitely would recommend these. So I plan on making some signs, some camping signs, and I saw this on Timu. It's one of those silk guard, um, silk screen things. What is it, like chalk couture or something like that has them? So I wanted the camping one. So that's what I bought. Um, I don't know if I can use this with my chalk paint or not. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to use acrylic paint, but I really can't wait to try this one out. Um, yeah, I want to make one for my camper so I can put it up in there and then maybe try to sell some of them because this is a super cute design and I really like the chalk couture stuff, but I just can't afford to buy stuff like that. So I paid... $1.78 for this one. So I'll let you know. We'll do a little video eventually. I'm not sure when, but I will do a video on this and how well it worked. Okay, this I really wanted to try. They have different shapes and sizes of these. And I just like that it's just plain. And I can put any design or whatever I want on there. It's got a little lip. It's got a frame around there. I mean, it's pretty decent quality, I would say. I was actually almost thinking I could put this on here. And then maybe I could put some little designs or something underneath it. So these might actually go together. I might try that. But this um, board I paid $2.99 for. And, yeah, you can buy blanks from Dollar Tree, but I wanted, like, a total, I don't know. I just wanted to try something different. So, $2.99 for this, maybe not quite worth $2.99, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what I can do with it. So, I'm really thinking this might be a thing, though. Okay, two last things. I bought some macrame cord. Now, I did not look at the thickness when I bought this. Um, I just started doing some macrame stuff 
I made some keychains and stuff, but that stuff was way thicker than this. I wanted to show you from comparison here. So this is the cord that I bought, and this is what I got from Timo. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make with this, considering it's so small. But, I mean, maybe I could make some tiny little... <laughs> little keychains I'm not sure um we'll see I'll see what I can come up with for this if not I can always use this for twine on projects and stuff cuz yeah why not so this I actually paid two dollars and nineteen cents for and yeah we'll see what I make not sure yet oh also I'm gonna be getting these on my Etsy shop so if you're interested in all I'm just letting you know. Click the link, hit my Etsy shop. It's probably going to be a little bit closer to Christmas or so before I get them out, but just letting you know. It literally just started pouring outside. It turned green and started pouring. I think it's about 7, 7.30 right now. Yeah, so if you can hear that in the background. Okay, next up, these are, they're called Rhombus Hollow Flower Pieces. And then it says retro DIY on there. But I don't know. I like to put like little designs on stuff that I make. And I thought these would be really cute. I actually think they are really cute. I don't know that I like the color. They'll probably have to be painted or something. Just using this as an example. But stuff like this I use a lot. So I say I have my little camping sign I put on here. Say I need to fill in some space up here. Look at that. And then you paint it obviously a different color because I'm not really into that color, but it just adds a little extra decoration on a project. Or you could always put it on the on frames like that. But yeah, I love little pieces like this. These aren't actually the first um, pieces kind of like this that I bought before so yeah check I would check these out you got 20 of them for a dollar 98 so that is the last of the stuff that I bought at Timu I'm probably not going to be making another video again for a while because I have a lot of craft stuff that I need to use up and I need to actually get crafting instead of buying crafts so on that note I just want to say I hope you enjoyed my video. I would love it if you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I upload, and take care. Have a great night. Thanks. Bye.